Hi, my name is Judy Takis, and I'm thrilled that my paint, my diptych, uh, Persephone kept and Persephone left in the winter was accepted to the Brindu New um, Annual Art Show this year. So I'm just gonna tell you a quick little synopsis about what, what it's all about. Uh, we all know the Persephone story from Greek mythology. Um, I have used that as one of the stories in my goddess project where I re-examine ancient legends and myths from all the religions uh, through a feminist contemporary lens. And the Persephone story, that's the one where um, beautiful young maiden Persephone gets kidnapped by Hades, who is the god of the underworld, to be his wife, essentially. And her mother, Persephone's mother, is Demeter, also known as Mother Nature. So Mother Nature is so upset that her daughter has been kidnapped and held hostage that she lets the crops die. She lets the, you know, the, there's like blight and drought and everything here on, on Earth. So what happens is mortals starve, you know, the animals die because they don't have crops to eat and everybody gets really angry at the gods. So because she holds all the cards and she is the one that keeps the balance of nature in balance, she is able to negotiate a deal where Persephone comes back up to the regular world instead of the underworld. Um, but unbeknownst to her and unbeknownst to Persephone, while she was down there in the underworld, Hades, who is, you know, the king of the underworld, the, the god of the underworld, um, tricked her into eating a single pomegranate arrow. And apparently in Greek mythology, the single pomegranate arrow is the thing that um, binds you to the underworld. So she is now compelled to stay. But the crops are still not coming back to life and Mother Nature is still wields all this power. So she negotiates a different deal where for nine months out of the year, Persephone is up on uh, the earth and she's allowed to you know, be, be out there in real, in real life. Three months out of the year, she has to spend in the underworld. And the three months that she spends in the underworld are when the world goes dormant and Mother Nature is mourning and sad that her daughter is missing. And those are the three months of winter. So it's kind of, you know, this iconic story that explains the seasons. But one of the things that it also does is it puts the woman in the story, the young girl in the story, as basically a bargaining chip and a piece of property to be traded. And, you know, okay, we'll send her here for this. She's part of the deal. She's part of the livestock or whatever that that gets that gets passed around and has no determination of her own future. And that is the myth that I want to re-examine in my goddess project. So for my paintings, Persephone kept and Persephone left, what I've done is um, it's a two-part painting. Persephone kept is where she's looking with longing at the freedom that she is currently missing. Sky is cloudy. She is held captive because of the single pomegranate arrow that she ate. And um, she's looking with longing. She's wearing the wedding dress as symbolic of, you know, her being forced to marry Hades, which is even worse than being a hostage. Um, for Persephone left, in the winter. Basically what Persephone does here is she says, you know what? Forget this. I'm not property. I'm leaving. And it's the winter. She puts on her ski parka. She gathers up a whole bag full of pomegranates because you know what? Why not? Go, if you're going to go big, if you're going to go home, go big. Um, and her necklace, which is my symbol of you know, the, uh, the single pomegranate arrow that is keeping her captive blows off in the wind and she sets off into the sunshine here. So those are my paintings. I hope you enjoyed this and uh, I'll see you at the Brindu.